Good evening, dear ladies. Let's bless us, Rat Hashem, that we will all have the spot to greet Mashiach Tzikhet Tzikhenu Barachmim Uim Imar B'Yameinu Amen. Eliyahu Navi, Eliyahu Tzikhenu Eliyahu Gredi, Umarav Moshech David, Eliyahu Tzikhenu Batso. We will all have the spot to see the building of Beit HaMikdash Hashashi B'Yameinu Amen. Amen. Ki Ayin Dan Eru B'Shavad Nai Tzion. Atat Takum Tarachem Tzion Ki Et Lechanana Ki Ba Moel. Hashivenu Adonai Lecha Benashub Achadesh Yameinu Ke Kedem. We will all have the spot to go to Eretz Yisrael on the wings of Eagle, and we all have part in Eretz Yisrael. Amen. בשם השם נעשה ונצליח, אין עוד מלבדו, השם שפתי תפתח ותהיה גיד תהילתך. And everything that we do is בשם כל ישראל. In the name of all the children of Israel, בעזרת השם. בשם כל ישראל. So dear ladies, I ממש, we are on the night of the 10th of Av. And it's written, סליחה, on the night of the 10th, מי יודע, אולי כבר אמרנו, the 10th of Tevet. The 10th of Tevet. So it's written in Parashat Shmot, that the spinner was three shayrechim, that Yochevet hid Moshe Rabbeinu for three months. It says in the Zohar Kadosh in Parashat Shmot that what does it mean that she hid him for three months? That she hid him from harsh judgment. Dinim kashim lo alenu that are in three months. And the Zohar Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai says that there are three months that they are very harsh judgment, and the months are the month of Tevet. the month of Tevet, which we are in, the month of Tevet, and the month of Tammuz, and the month of Av. So on the month of Tevet, on the 10th, which is tomorrow when we start in the morning, we start the fast, we have a fast. Each one of them is a fast. It starts at 5.34 a.m. and it ends at 5.14 p.m. Okay, it's 12 hours fast. And this is, to, to, we are already in the 10th day of Tevet. So even Chatan, even a, a, a groom and a bride, on the week of the Sheva, Sheva Brachot, they have to fast. Wow. Because this is a fast of a public. And their simcha is individual simcha. So they have to fast even a Chatan and Kala. Imagine how much it's important, this, the tenth of Tevet. And even if it falls on Friday, we fast. Can you imagine the tent? Why? Because the tent of Tevet is the beginning of the ruining of the temple. Yeah. Because on the tent of Tevet, already Nebuchadnezzar had a siege over Yerushalayim. So this was the beginning, and when there was a siege, Hashem waited for the children of Israel to do tshuva. Because it took time until it came to Zayin Bet Tammuz, to the 17th of Tammuz, when the walls were broken, and on the 9th of Av it was already burnt, the temple was burnt. So it says that at Spineu, Shlosha Chodeshim, three months have harsh judgment, because in these months the angel of Esav has more control. Because Esav took three months, and we had a lesson about it. Yaakov took seven months, Esav took three months, and Hashem has two months. Elul betishrei. Elul is the end of the year, which means the end includes everything that was before that. Notnim le betulash nem asar chodashim. We give Virgo 12 months, because Virgo is the constellation of Elul. So we give Virgo 12 months in order that if we do tshuva, we will repent on the month of Elul, which is the end of the Jewish year. Then it means that all of the 12 months is included in it, like we did tshuva the whole 12 months. Of course, we, it's not only to repent over what we did between us and Hashem, but also between us and other human beings. To ask forgiveness and mm -hmm, mm -hmm, to keep our mouth, because all, everything starts with the mouth. So all of all the, everything, it includes Hashem and includes other human beings. And Tishrei is the beginning. So everything goes by the beginning, because the beginning has, it includes, it observes everything that is going to come after that. So we have Elul, the, the last month, and there's a mamash to Ed. Everything that we see, I say Ed. Aleph is Elul. And Taf is Tishrei. These are the two months that Hashem took for himself. So he can, because he's the judge. There's no judge except for Hashem. He's the judge. So he said, I love my children. And I want them to, to repent. So I'm taking the last month. And even if they were naughty during the, the, the 11 months, I give him the last month in order to do tshuva. And then Tishrei is the beginning of the year. Everything goes by the beginning, because the beginning includes everything that is going to come after that. 
So if we do Tshuva on Tishrei Rosh Hashanah, we have Yom HaKippurim, on Rosh Hashanah three books are open, on Yom HaKippurim, Rosh Hashanah we are written, on Yom HaKippurim we are sealed, Vesiyat HaDishmaya. So he says, and then we have Sukkot, and we have Oshana Rabba, and Hashem opens his hand until Zot Chanukah is waiting for us to all come a chesed, how much mercy he has with us. Can you imagine? Until Zot Chanukah he, he opens his hand. That's how much mercy, I, I wish we had mercy like this upon each other. Can you imagine, we, we came, Omer Rabbi Moshe Kordevero Betomer Dvorah, Alam Shalom Zchutot Agen Alenu Besiyat Adishmeh, that Ra'ui Shadam Ida Melekono, that a person should emulate God. How should he emulate Hashem? By, uh, by emulating the attributes of Hashem. Look how much chesed he has with us. We should have chesed with one another. So we see over here that Hashem took the, those uh, two months, and the Saab look took the months of Tevet, Tammuz, the Av, and each one of the new Tevet is the siege over Yerushalayim, the 10th of Tevet. The 17th of Tammuz, Yud Zayin Tammuz, is a, 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 a they broke the walls of Yerushalayim, and Tisha B'Av is already the fire. Tisha B'Av, the ninth of Av, they ruined the temple and they burnt it. And the main fire was on the tenth of Av. So all of these are the months that Esav took. How can Esav take those months and only this disaster and destruction to the whole world? It's, it doesn't only influence the Jewish people, it influences all the whole world because the temple was like a, a home for Hashem. Hashem wants that His divine presence will be here. It's, Hashem is here all the time. But when the temple was here, everything was revealed. Hashem was revealed to us. And immediately there's a connection between heavens and earth. That's what Hashem wants, as a connection. Hashem wants that everybody will be happy. He created the world in order to, to please also all of the creation that He created. Otherwise He could make bread, salt, and water, and we should live on that. And Hashem made the world colorful with water and spring and different kinds of colors and fruits and vegetables and different smells. This Hashem loves all of His creation, all of humanity. And it's one family from Adam and Eve. One family. His firstborns are the children of Israel that he gave them the Torah. Can you imagine how beautiful the creation is? What Hashem made for us? And people fall with pride and they think that are pro progressive and... Uh, <laughs> walk. Uh, walk. Uh, no, not all progressive and also... Um, Liberal, liberal. Liberals, and they think that they, they know better than the creator of the world, and they don't understand that this is Mamash worshipping the evil inclination. Totally. That's what the evil inclination wants, separation. Kitot, kitot. Groups and groups, separation. At the end of days, the truth is concealed, and you have, adarim, adarim. Groups and groups, you have to search for the truth. How do we do tshuva? We always say that in the shiurim. How do we do tshuva? We cling to the truth, because the truth is the seal of Hashem. So first a person should be true to himself. Machshavot tovot, dibur tov. We speak to ourselves, okay Hashem, I know you see everything. It's like everybody says today there's no problem to understand that Hashem sees everything. Hashem sees everything. Today with the video and all the cameras on the street, you can't hide anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is in open, so you know that when you come up, when you go to the other side, to, to the world to come, and you stand in front of the of the, the court, mm -hmm. they show you everything that you did, and not everything only that we did, every word that we took out of our mouth, and the intention that was behind it. Everything we see, and we are judged for everything, because Hashem knows our heart. We see through the eye, but Hashem knows our heart. So it's very frightening to think about it. So anyway, we are visitors, we pass through, we should be good. We should be good and do good to others. And the do daka charity also with our mouth. It doesn't cost money to do charity with our mouth. To be nice, to give a smile, to have a light 
in your face. It doesn't matter what you're going through in your life. If you, Meir Panim, you have light to others, Hashem will give you light back. The way we behave to others is the way that Hashem brings us back the light. So we should be good. It doesn't cost money to be good. We should make peace. But King David said, I wanted to make peace, but people don't, do, do, want, do not want to make peace with me. Unbelievable. <laughs> Until Hashem put him 40 years to rule over the children of Israel. They didn't want his ruling. They loved King Shaul. So I, I, we do what Hashem wants us to do. That's why we came here. So we ask from Hashem that he will, we will do His will like He wants us to do His will. That Hashem, we know, you created the evil inclination. Please, Hashem. Please, put him aside. We need the evil inclination. Don't be, we want, can't be wrong. Because without the evil inclination, we won't get married. We won't eat. We won't have children. But we need to take out the sourness of the evil inclination. And only the good part of it. So all of this depends on our choices. If we listen to the good inclination and do the will of Hashem, or chas v'shalom, we listen to the evil inclination that stands over here and tells us what to do. We need to move him away. We need to ask him, don't you want to say a song in front of Hashem? Because only after he tests us and we, and we, overcome, and we succeed in the test, we don't listen to him and we do the will of Hashem, he has a permission to say a song in front of Hashem. So this is very important. So we see Tisha, uh, the tenth of uh, the tenth of uh, Tevet is. It starts from tonight. We are already in the day, of, uh, the, the night of Tevet, the tenth of Tevet. Tomorrow it starts, and today there's uh, so many. Yesterday is Ras Sofer. There's so many righteous Sadikim. I sent you in the WhatsApp. The righteous Sadikim Besiata Dishma that they have the Yor side. You had yesterday and today. Among them is Rabbi Natan Mibreslev, and we're going to learn. From Likutei Moharan, Besiyat Adishmaya, regarding Asara Betevet, and and what Hashem will also give me to add to this Bezat Hashem. So first of all, we should know, in order to better ourselves, in order to do tshuva, that everything that Hashem created was for His honor. And Ishayal the Prophet says that Kol Anikabishmi, everything that is uh, that is named by me, which says Hashem, Velichvodi. In my honor, so all of the creation is in the honor of Hashem. All humanity is in the honor of Hashem. I have created him, I have formed him, and I have did him. I made him. And everything for the sake of Hashem. And King Solomon says everything, all this energy of, of anger, jealousy, and they didn't respect me enough, respect everything. Hevel habalim, says Shlomo Amelech in Kohelet. Everything is, Hevel is, is, is the, like we do like this. You know, it passes through, which means I, 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 the translation is like nonsense. Why? Because Hevel, Hevel, I told you, Besiyata Dishmea, Hakol, it's, it's in the initials that everything Hashem created for His honor. It's only a make-believe that we think it's our honor. Ah, me, 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 me. But true, it's everything from Hashem. Everything is for Hashem. So let's continue and see. I'll, I'll go to this. Remind me to go to this at the end of the lesson. So how do we fix it that we will know that everything, everything was created for the honor of Hashem? So pay attention. Katuf kan af. You see, af is, is, a, is a rough. Af asiti. Which means in the world of Asiya, because all of this tells us that we are the, this, these are the worlds that Hashem created. But if zeulam abriya. Okay, that's right. Try this. The Olam Abriya, which I created. Olam Abriya. There are five worlds. There's Adam Kadmon. Uh, it's called Adam Kadmon in the Kabbalah. And then there's Atzilut. Atzilut is nobility. And then there, there's the worlds that come after that. Briya. This is the Briya. That the, the righteous, the Tzadikim, their souls are there. Then there's Yetzira. So here it says that the symbol of the prophet, Yetzirah, that I formed him. In the, in the world of Yetzirah are the angels. And Olam Asiyah, this is the world of Asiyah. 
the Olam Asiya is where we are. This is the, the world of creation. We are the eternal Chon Benoga. We are underneath even that. But this is, we will call it the Olam Asiya, that we can do things. We can do mitzvot. We can do things in order to do tshuva and in order to elevate all of the sparks of holiness to higher places. Okay? This is what we have. So how, how can we repent it, Olam Asiya? I told you by clinging to the truth. How do we do that? By studying the Torah. How do, how do we say studying in Hebrew? Studying in Hebrew is limud. Nachon? Limud. So if we take the, the lamed of limud, of studying, and we put it in the word af, af, to simulir, this is rough, but I'm adding the lamed, it becomes alek. We, we soften the rough of Hashem, from us by studying the Torah and by learning his halachot because the laws of Hashem is his word. The commandments are his word. Look, Aleph, maze Aleph, Aleph ze Pele. Pele, it's the letters of Pele. Pele is plot, is miracles above nature. Did you see what we did over here? This is the Af. So how do we repent? By putting the Lamed inside. This King Solomon says it mamash that he learned a Torah at the time of Af, when there was anger, uh, there was wrath. And once he learned the Torah, the Aleph joined the Af, which is wrath, and it became Aleph, and it became Pele, miracles above nature. So this is what we do. So let's see, Bezant Hashem, let's go. We're going back to Kain and Heaven, Bereshit. And by this we'll continue with Zahat Hashem, and I'll, Hashem will give me to connect this to what we're going to learn from the Kutim Moran. So it says over there, Ve'yom Hashem Elohim. Lama, you remember that both Cain and Hevel brought both of them sacrifices? Cain brought from the inferior part of the land, and Hevel brought from the, the best sheep that he had, and Hashem, and Hashem wanted the sacrifice, the, the sacrifice of Hevel and did not look at the sacrifice of Cain. He did not accept the sacrifice of Cain. So Cain, his face fell, and Hashem tells him, Hashem Elohim, Hashem, God told him, Lama haralach, why are you angry? And why your face are down? Hello, im tetif set. That if you do tshuva, set. If the imtetif said, ve'im lo tetif, that you can do tshuva. If you fix your ways, then there won't be problem. I will accept your sacrifice. That's the same thing for us today. It's the same words. Ve'im lo tetif, and if you won't do tshuva, la peta chatat rovis. In the entrance, the sin is waiting for you. If you don't do tshuva, okay? Ve'elecha tshukato, and you and you will become a slave to him. Because your passion will be to him. Because once you open the door for the evil inclination, it's very hard to go. For example, if a person is accustomed to lie, it's very hard to stop lying. A person is accustomed to, to, uh, to, to say to slander, it's very hard to mm -hmm. It's a big, big uh, fight. Why? Because, I did pay attention. You, you know that you shouldn't say something. Let's say, uh, tell me that you don't, didn't have it. You know you shouldn't say something. Now you feel the urge to say it, but you know you shouldn't say it. And, and yet the evil inclination bothers you. You should say it, say it, say it, and you don't want to say it. But then once you say it, then the evil inclination leaves you. No, you did it. Now it runs to Hashem and says, Hashem, I've tested her. And look, she said it. Yeah, this is, and don't tell me you didn't feel this once in your life. It mamash kacha, then it doesn't bother you anymore. You feel, wow. <laughs> Why? Because he already did what he wanted. You knew that you shouldn't do that. Why? Because Hashem gives you the first thought that you have is clean. It's from Hashem. Then come the politics, the evil inclination. It says, okay, now I'm going to test her. And it's always like this. And you feel it. You mamash, When you're true to yourself and to Hashem, you feel it. You see that there was a fight and wow, I, I missed it. <laughs> but what do you do? Why does the evil inclination want after that? It wants you to get depressed and sad. Why, Hashem? I know I, know I had a test and I, I failed the test. So what do you do? You don't get sad. 
ועושה השם חטאתי, אביתי, פשעתי, העמידתי ופה צדקה, העמידתי את תאצ'ל המזוזה, פליז, וייפ איט אווי, you call that person that you spoke, or you spoke it, I didn't mean it, forget it, erase it, and you ask from Hashem, erase it from, from the person's mind, I didn't mean it, Hashem, immediately, so if you do it immediately, it's erased. That's the secret, to take off immediately to do it. Don't, don't let a, a day pass through that, because the more days pass through and you didn't do tshuva, the, uh, the sin has thickness, mamash thickness, like in Egypt. In Egypt they had the ten plagues, the plague of darkness had thickness. That's how the sin also has thickness. And the light of Hashem cannot come uh, more, and the more there's thickness to the, to the uh, um, borders yeah, between yeah. you, a barrier between us and Hashem, the, the, uh, the less the light can come in. So immediately, it's okay. Sheva pamimi pol tzadik vekam. Hashem knows that. King Solomon says seven times a, a tzadik falls and he raise, rises up. All of the tzadikim also fell and they raised up in themselves. But the evil inclination wants this. Uh, Rabbi Nachman Breslev says that. Rabbi Nathan writes that he wants the sadness after the sin. Because when we get sad and depressed, Shavech Hashem will forgive me. I have a long line of, <laughs> of things that I did not in the will of Hashem. How can He forgive me? So by this we don't even have the strength, because it causes laziness, the strength to do tshuva and to do the will of Hashem. So we see over here, the evil inclination already takes you, but you can conquer him by doing tshuva. So let's look. Look how beautiful it is. It's already from the beginning. Hashem tells us. Siget Kitzilant. Oh, somebody took a picture. Okay, I'll just write it like this. Okay, I'm going to see you next to Okay, so we said that it's been out for three months. So now we are going back to Kain, and everything is from the beginning. Know that everything starts from the beginning. And we are learning tools how Bezrat Hashem to help ourselves not to fall. So it's La Petach, remember the entrance. Set, Mother Set. Set, I told you, it's Tshuva, Nachon? Nachon? It's also Tisa. We have also Tisa, and we have also um, Tisa. Wait, I forgot one word. Just a minute. Let me. Tisa. No, 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 no. But it will come. It will come. Bezrat Hashem. I wrote it down to myself when I put it in words. But Kitisa, you remember Parashat Kitisa. We have here set. Nachon. And we are going to continue. Ketub lapetach in the entrance, the sin waits. Maze chatat. Chatat is the initials of Kisar Achamim says, Chet is for Chodesh, Chodashim, the months. Tet is Tebet. Aleph is Av. And Tav is Tamuz. That's amazing. That's the, the months of, of Esav. He tells him, if you, will do, if you won't, if you won't do tshuva, in the entrance it's waiting. On what month? On Tebet, Abed Tammuz. The 10th of Tebet, we have a fast because there was siege over Yerushalayim. The 17th of Tammuz starts the three weeks because they, they broke the walls of Yerushalayim. At the 9th of Av, there was the ruining of the temple. In a chatat, lapet a chatat rovetz. Mazeh said, oh, and also Eshet, look over here. So I want to show you. So where does it start? It starts in the Petach. Epho nimtza Petach? Our mouth, nachon? It's an opening, our mouth. So let's see, because every mitzvah that we do is by three, has three clothing. Machshava. Machshava. Dibur. Demas. Every mitzvah that we do has three clothing, a thought, a speech, and then the action. Why? Because when we spoke about it, Hashem gave us a schut, because once we have the thought, nobody knows our thought. It's concealed, only Hashem knows our thought. He knows everything and He speaks with us with our thoughts. 
and he speaks to us with, through other people that come to us. But if we are true, we know this is a message from Hashem. So it starts with a thought. Once we set the thought in our mouth, we make parts of letters. Then the ear, which is a microphone to the organs, the ear is a microphone. All of the organs now listen to what the mouth said. And now the organs of action, our hands, our legs, are going to do an action. Can you imagine? It's a thought, a speech, and an action. It's true for the good deeds that we do, and it's true for the not good deeds that we do. They all have machshava, dibur, v'maseh. If I'm angry and I took out the words out of my mouth, the ear already it trans I transformed it to all of the organs, which means passed it to all of the organs. Now I'm more angry because I heard myself. If I speak, and I already told you, if I speak words of love, then my ear listens to this and all of my body feels it. I, when we say, Hashem, I love you, you feel it. When I say, I tell you, girls, I love you. Yishar koach. I love you all. I thank Hashem that I have this chut to give this you. Thank you, Hashem, for everything, for your Segalit and Yochevet, for Madena that opens the shul, for all of you that are coming. Thank you for the Georgian shul. It's a big chut. You understand? It's not, it's not obvious. As Baruch Hashem, when you say good words, you feel it's like an energy that goes through you. You feel. And also when you say things that are not good, you feel it. You feel it in your body, you become more. <laughs> so I told you when we feel angry, we shouldn't say anything. We should open the window and let's do <sighs> everything should go out. <laughs> open the door, take it out. The evil inclination, go out. We don't want to hear what it and take a wa water and say shakol niyavid varo. Why you remind yourself that everything is from Hashem, there's nothing to get angry. Or anxious. Or anxious, anxiety, nothing. Everything is from Hashem. As if we know that everything is Hashem, Hashem is everything, and everything is Hashem, that's it. We calm ourselves, but we have to hear this. So we say shakol niyavid varo. Everything is in his speech. And we remind ourselves by this. So we see over here, so where is the petah? Where is the opening? The opening is here, because a peh is petah. Now we know that the exile of Egypt includes all of the exiles. How do we know? Look how beautiful our Torah is. Look how beautiful. We go to Egypt, Mitzrayim, okay? This is Mitzrayim. Okay, it starts with an open mem and it ends with a, with a closed mem. Nachon? The end letter mem. In the middle, yes, yes, an inclination. It can be good inclination, but it can, but Mitzrayim means that it's not a good inclination. Why? Because it wants to separate between the mem that is open and the mem that is closed. The mem that is closed is our thoughts. Nobody knows our thoughts. So this is machshava. Ze machshava. Because it's closed. Only Hashem knows our thoughts. But the man that is open is ma'aseh, is the action. What does the evil inclination in the middle, Yetzer, Mitzrayim, wants to do? To separate the thought from the action. That we won't follow the way of Hashem. So he wants to separate it. In the middle is the evil inclination, Yetzer. And how do we do, how do we take the rough off of us? We said, Aleph, we have to learn, Nachon Lamed, the Limuda Torah, Aleph, this is the pay, which this is rough of Hashem. We, we put the Lamed. How do we do this? Because the Mishnah starts, Mematai Korin et Shmash Be'arvit. When do we, it starts, Masechet Brachot, the Mishnah, the Sitz book of Mishnah starts with an open Mem, Mematai. When do we read Shma Be'arvit? Which means when a, a boy comes to bar mitzvah, when does he start Shema Avrit? When he ba becomes a bar mitzvah. So it starts with an open mem. But the, it ends, Masachat Uktsin, the, the Mishnah ends with, Hashem Yebarech et Amo Bashalom. Bashalom. That Hashem is going to bless his children with peace. It starts with an open mem and ends with a closed mem. By studying the Torah, we close the mouth of the evil inclination. Why? Because the evil inclination is called Samech With an open mem. 
he, his livelihood is from the word kel, the samech mem, the kel. That's his name. So it's an open. But if we study the Torah, we close his, and it's, he cannot anymore take from our mitzvot, not take from our good deeds that we do. He cannot take from the commandments that we follow because we close his mouth. Isn't that beautiful? So let's see. How do we know? Ani chal imchok. How do we know? Besiat adishmaya. When we come to the paper, ani mochek et raga kan you saw. Chatat we saw that this is the initials of the three months that Esav took. Okay, mazer obets that it's it's in the entrance. Okay, obets that it's Hashem says it speaks to all of the Jewish people. Reish is reshaim. Bet is benonim. The tzaddik, the tzaddikim. That is so amazing. Tzaddik, look. Hashem tells us in the beginning between Cain and Hevel. This is for reshaim, benonim, and tzaddikim. Which means for the righteous, for the not righteous at all, totally not, and the one that are intermediate, in, in between. As mazea peta. So it says, dear ladies, it says like that this is, now I'm coming to Likotei Moaran, and this is a Siman Lametchet, and we are learning together this. Veshochevet cheikcha, shmor picha, shmor pichei picha. Which means from the woman that lies in the bed with you, keep your mouth. Which means even from the closest people, keep your mouth, what you're saying, what you're taking out of your mouth. But pay attention, pichei, peta, it's an entrance. Like la peta chatat robets in an entrance. What is robets? Robets stands is there. The robets. Robets is the initials of the tzadikim benonim v'rashayim. And where it came tzed? Sam shin alef tzed. Ani Hashem, we are coming. I ask the questions at the end. I'm coming to it, okay? We are because we want to build it so you we will remember what we are learning. So the siyat adishma it says that you should keep your mouth, mm -hmm. a petach entrance, this is the petach, you should keep it up. And then it says, all of the nachalim, uh, the river, lakes, the rivers, all of the rivers go to the ocean. Now I want to explain something. Ocean is called malchut. Yam is malchut, is kingdom. Zayam, yudmen, okay, I'll write it, and then, me is Bina, is understanding. It's the same letters. Me is Bina. You know that the ten counts of the Kabbalah, we have the crown, we have the, the wisdom, we have understanding, this understanding on the left side. And Malchut is Yam. It's the same letters. Yud Mem, Yud Mem. Malchut is the name of Hashem Adnut. That Hashem is the Lord. Malchut is that Hashem is the Lord because it's kingdom. Hashem is the Lord of the world. So how do we start Tfilat Shmona We say Hashem Sfatai Tiftach, But we say a Lord, we say Adnut. So it starts with Aleph, Hashem, Sfatai Tiftach. What is the initial? Eshem. Eshem. I'm, I'm, I'm combining a few things, so it's, it's combined from a lot of places, but know that it's, I'm combining and what Hashem gave me to give you. So, Besiyat Adishma, the Eshet. What is the Eshet? The Set. Im Tetiv Set, right? That if, if you do Tshuva, Set is Tshuva. Hashem says, even a door and all, if you keep Shabbat, if you keep Shabbat, Hashem forgives you for all the sins. So let's look, what is the Set? Shin is 300, Aleph is 1, Taf is 400, plus the word, Ima Kolel, which is the word, it's one word, plus one, equals 702, 702 is Shabbat. Shin is 300, Bet is 2, Taf is 400, together it's Shabbat. So Shabbat is the opening, the entrance of Tshuva, by keeping Shabbat, Lord, doesn't matter what we did in now. Don't wait to do tshuva for everything yet. First, keep Shabbat. By keeping Shabbat, we're studying Yilchot Shabbat, Bezrat Hashem, 
and now we're in Havdala, and we're going to start the 39, the 39 Melachot that are forbidden on Shabbat. We, we study every Thursday, 12.30, together, with Zriyad and Shema. So in Shabbat, sit. Look how Hashem has everything in it. At the beginning, the beginning. So he tells him, La petach atat rovetz, and the petach is the dibur. Vashem spatai titach, titach is petach. How do we know that petach is the mouth? Because Hashem tells us, Hashem spatai titach. So this is petach, petach, tibitchei picha bepetach. And call on Echalim Rokhim Layam, and it's written. How do we know that Malchut is Adnut, that Hashem's name and Malchut is the, being the Lord, because he is the king of the world? How do we know that? We could continue in chapter 148 in Tehillim, it says, Ruach a storm, because we said that, that we have over here called all of the rivers go to the ocean, Nachon. We spoke about ocean over here. So it says, a storm does the will of Hashem. So let's go and see. It's the clue. Where do we do when we don't listen to Hashem? We cause a storm by our mouth. Once we start saying the things that are not good, we cause a big storm. All of this gives a koach to the other side. How do we know that? Ani cholayim chok po. How do we know that? Um, I'll just take this. Okay. How do we know that? Because seara a storm is that is samechei vera. Samechei vera. Ra is evil. It comes from the mouth. Either good things. Or I always tell you that may Hashem yafik margaliot me'afeshlamu that we always good to say good things, and and not frogs and other things from <laughs> from our mouth, and good things. So samech samech is sixty, he is five. Together it's sixty five. It's anut. Aleph aleph is one. Daled is four. Nun is fifty, and the yod is ten. Together it's sixty five. The Lord. So, Seara Bayam, a storm in the ocean, is Malchut, because ocean is parallel to the world. We go to the ocean in order to take all of our sins into the ocean. The Malchut. This is kingdom. And the name of Hashem in, the, in kingdom has to be the Lord, because he is, he is the king. So, let's continue. It says, and the wicked, Kayam. Nigash, like uh, the ocean, they are stormy like the ocean. They can't be quiet. They, they prosecute people, they slander them, they tell lies, they can't. They, they, they take out only storms from them. And we see over here. So when a person does this with his mouth, which is the petach, Hashem spatai tiftach, open my mouth, because this is the petach, he causes ra evil, and he damages the name of Hashem Adnut, the Lord, because he thinks that he's a judge and he can judge others and do whatever he wants. Only by our mouth that the temple was ruined. Because slandering and, and using our mouth not in good terms is parallel to the three Averot, to the three sins that it says it should, should die and not go and not do them. Which is worshipping other gods, because once you listen to the evil inclination, you're worshipping other gods. Uh, um, it's killing because you're killing another person with your words. You're not giving him life, you're killing him. And you're also killing the person that, that listened to you. You're killing three people are killed from the Shonara, from slandering. I'm not speaking Bechlal about, about, um, about lying. And we speak about it on Thursdays. We spoke about Derech Mesilat Yesharim of Ramchal about lies. There are three groups, the Ramchal puts them in three groups. There's the professional liar that that he's, he, this is his job. He lies about everything, so everybody will think that he's very sophisticated and he knows everything and then everybody can be with him. And then the one that is less professional, but, but in every story that he, is, he tells, he puts lies inside. And then the, there's the one that, ah, in a, um, a lower level from this. So we spoke about it in, in the Shurim on Thursday, the Siyat 
So dear ladies, and, that's, and, uh, and also this is like having intimate relationships that are forbidden. So three sins that, uh, that because of these three things, a sins that first temple was ruined and the second temple was ruined because of baseless hatred, because nobody can touch anything that it, uh, is ours. No, ca nobody can touch our honor unless Hashem tells them to do that. Nobody can take our money unless Hashem tells them to do that. If they chose to be a messenger of a thing that is not good, they're going to pay for this. You understand? There's a decree in heaven. There's no human being or no animal, even a snake cannot kill a person unless it was decreed in heaven. The snake does not kill, the sin kills. So there's no creature that can harm us unless there's a decree in heaven. And once there's, there's a decree in heaven, let's say there's a, that, uh, uh, there's a good decree. So all of the good people that is around that person, that decree came from him, a good decree, they hear this in their soul. And one of them chooses to be the shaliach. It's a big thing to be a shaliach for a good thing, to be a messenger for a good thing. But also from the other side, if there's a decree that is not good, all of the people that already have boxes on the other side, on the left side of sins, one of them chooses to be a shaliach, to be a messenger. But he, he had the choice either to do it or not to do it, but still he chose to be a messenger, to say a bad thing to say, or to steal from someone. He chose to be a messenger, so he will pay over it eventually. But the one that everything happens to him should say thank you to Hashem because he should know that everything is from Hashem. Nothing happens. And when we say thank you to Hashem and praise his name and the daven for everybody to do tshuva, to repent, then we soften the judgment, not only from us, but for Klan Israel. And by this, for the whole world. Because the whole world stands on, on, on Israel, on Am Israel, on the children of Israel, because Hashem and the Torah and the children of Israel are one. We are one. So we see that Ishmael, we see it over here. So it says in Tehillim chapter 106, Mi emalek gvurot Hashem, because gvurot means speech. Who will make the speech, you know, the hardness of the, of the speech or the hardness of judgment? Who will uh, soften it? Yashmiya kol tehilato. Should praise the name of Hashem. Should read the whole Tehillim. If he doesn't remember how to praise and how to say thank you to Hashem. And how do we know that Kvurot is a speech? Because it says, let's see if the green one will be <laughs> working. So because it says, Ugmuratchai Daberu, chapter 145 in Tehillim, it says that, uh, okay, it works. So you see that we will speak your might. So Kvurot means speech. You see, we learn it from the Tehillim. So dear ladies, we are coming, we saw Besiyat Adishmaya. So how can we take the do tshuva? We go to Parashat Kitisa, Kitisa et Rosh Bnei Israel. You remember Parashat Kitisa. So Hashem tells Moshe Rabbeinu that each one of them should be, should bring a, a half a, a coin, Chatziya Shekel, in order to atone for them. So we learn from this, from Set which is tshuva, to do tshuva also with staka besiata dishmaya. So we do tshuva with staka. We do tshuva with our speech, because they are petak, la petak atat rovez. They said, besiata dishmaya, we saw, Hashem spatai tiktak, which is eshet, the initials of eshet, like a wife. So besiata, and it says over here, mishokhevet chikecha, shmok picha, pitche picha, you should keep your mouth from the one that is closest to you, which is your wife, but it means to everybody that is close to you. Be nice, be gentle, be good. Find the merit of everyone, Besiata Dishmaya. By this we build the temple. Like we want to have a roof over our heads, Hashem doesn't have the, a home over here unless we, we will change ourselves. So it says in Parashat Balak, Bilam says to Balak, he says that this key, because Hashem spoke good about the children of Israel. So it said, 
who he says over there, there are only two places in the Mikra that this uh, expression is liberto, to speak good. One is in Parashat Balak, and the other one is by Esther the queen, Megillat Esther. It says, Diber Tov Al Amelech, that he spoke good about the king. And when there's no name next to the word king, it means the king of kings Hashem. So know that he who speaks good about the children of Israel, when we speak good about each other, we speak good about the king. And with this, we bring Mashiach closer. And with this, I want to bless all of us with our friends that we will all be zochet to bring Mashiach to the Kabbalah. Hamim moed mimra beabenu amen. Eliyahu nabi zechu latov lo lalam ipar dalam mechavu udar lachay achid berabim alacha kerabim. And we all be zochet to see the building of Beit Hamikdash of Shidi mimra beabenu. Amen. Talidu betov etakitzu bishua berachamim. I just wanted to ask when you said in the beginning that Amir.